In this lesson, we're going to learn how to dim an LED using two analog devices that uh, basically change the amount of resistance that they provide. And um, by hooking those up to the Arduino, the Arduino knows how far they're turned in the case of the, um, the potentiometer and how much light there is in the case of the light sensor and dims the LED accordingly. All right, let's get started. To do the project described in this lesson, you're going to need an Arduino, a breadboard, uh, a USB cable for the Arduino, a potentiometer, a 1K resistor, an LED, a light sensor, and some jumpers. Okay, let's wire up the board. Let's begin with the LED. Unlike uh, the previous project, we can't plug it into pin 13, and I'll explain later on this lesson why. We have to plug it into 9. So let's do that. We plug in the positive lead to port 9 on the Arduino. And then the ground can go into ground. Now here's the potentiometer. Potentiometer has three leads. I've soldered mine up with some some wires, but you can just use alligator clips or jumpers or whatever if you want. The center one is data that goes into um, pin A0. Um, and then the red and black ones plug into either ground or 5 volt or the other way around. It doesn't matter which one they go into. It works the same either way. So let's plug them in. All right, we're good to go. Okay, let's uh, code up our project. This is going to be kind of interesting because it does not involve an existing sketch, you know, someone's example that we can pull up and use. We have to adapt one uh, by changing a few of the parameters, and that's cool. All right, let's go to examples, analog, and um, select analog input. Basically, this sketch. Um, flashes an LED with a speed depending on how far the potentiometer knob has been turned. Uh, that's not what we want though. We want to um, dim the LED based on how far the knob is turned. So let's um, go through these and change what we need to to make it work. Starting with LED pin, we're going to change it to 9. Not to get too complicated, but there's a thing called pulse width, pulse width modulation that allows you to dim things that are ordinarily only on or off uh, by rapidly um, turning them on and off so it looks dim and um, uh, and not all of the digital pins can do pulse width modulation mm -hmm. but nine is one that can so let's do that mm -hmm. um, and then let's change sensor value to brightness just because that's what we're really talking about here All right, this is fine. Oops. Uh, so we change sensor value to brightness, so let's do that. This is just a variable, and it could say anything, but just because sensor value is so vague, I thought brightness would be better. So let's just change all of those. All right, um, so brightness analog read sensor pin is correct. However, this amount, the, the amount of, of um, the reading from a potentiometer can go as high as 1,023, uh, assuming, of course, you have a 1K potentiometer. Um, the problem with that is that the brightness only goes from 0 to 255. So we have to boop, divide by 4. Dividing by 4 will bring it down to the range we want. <clears throat> OK, um, we don't need digital write. LED pin high um, because that would just turn it on all the way. And let's get rid of some of these comments that don't apply. All right, and also, digital's wrong. It's analog, right? Digital means something that's either on or off 
or else a whole bunch of things that are on or off, like a um, like a series of numbers is expressed by a whole bunch of ones and zeros, right? Well, um, but analog is something that's a range of values. Uh, so, um, since that's what we're talking about here, we'll write, change it to analog right. And of course, instead of high, which just means all the way on, we change it to brightness. Uh, now the rest of this stuff you can get rid of because you're not going to need it. So I guess we didn't need to change all of those. But, so what we're looking at is uh, sensor pin A0 is um, where you connect the potentiometer's data pin. Uh, obviously you have your LED in 9 and the brightness here defaults at 0 but is modified pretty much immediately by the potentiometer. It's just something to get started with. All right, I think we're ready to test it. Okay, let's test it. Oh yeah, look at that, you can totally see it. There you have it. All right, let's, uh, let's change the project. So instead of using our lovely potentiometer, instead we use um, a light sensor. Uh, this way it will work it will work pretty much the same. Instead of turning a knob, you'll just put your finger over the sensor to block some of the light and therefore changing the resistance. All right, so I took out the potentiometer. I'm going to, here's the light sensor. Um, you can get five of these from Radio Shack for about four bucks. I'll put a link up. Okay, so I got the the uh, light sensor in. The uh, the first lead should go to 5V. Uh, and then the second lead is going to go uh, to, um, to analog zero, which is where the potentiometer was plugged in. And then we're going to take a little 1K resistor and we're going to put it to ground from the same row as the lead going to analog zero. And then we'll need to plug the, the ground bus in over here to where it says ground. Check it out. It dims. All right, that's it. In our next episode, we're going to move away from LEDs and learn about passive infrared, um, which is a way of detecting movement using uh, infrared light. And we're gonna use it to create a little proximity alarm that sounds a buzzer when something gets too close.